my name is Cena Beck, and you are Rabbi from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe, and ring that little bell. Ring that little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. So I, uh, uh, I'm a big Doctor Who fan. I think it can be said. I'm a very, very big, big Doctor Who fan. I like Doctor Who a lot. I like comic books a lot. I'm a bit of a geek. I'm a bit of a nerd. Uh, that's just who I am. That's just who I am. Uh, uh, and so that's basically how I have a YouTube channel where I scream into the ether. So I am in the midst of trying to monetize my, my, uh, my YouTube channel. I'm trying to do it in a bit of a unique way. I'm trying to do it uh, by selling you stuff. Stuff I think has genuine value. So let me just uh, uh, turn this on right here. There you go. That's me in the go go. Go check it out. Go check it out. It's in the video notes. Uh, 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 they're two freaking awesome comic books. Uh, and I'm going to talk to you about one of them in this video. I really I have, haven't really gone uh, uh, in you know in depth about these comics at all. And I'm I would like you to check them out. I would like you to ultimately buy them. So so I'm going to be going through this comic, doing a bit of a mini review. It's going to be a bias review because I wrote it, right? I wrote it, and I think it's great. I think it's really, really very good. Uh, like, I, honestly, I don't. I don't do stuff that I think is bad. Like if I don't think, if I'm not happy with the quality of it, I don't put it out publicly. So uh, uh, yeah, so yeah, uh, 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 this is basically uh, what this video is going to be. Before we get into it, guys, you can hit the like button. That'd be freaking awesome. Thank you very much. Can you hit? The, can we hit the share button? That'd be uh, uh, unbelievably great. Especially this one. But can you hit the subscribe button? You know, I, I I like people to subscribe. YouTube doesn't like people subscribing. YouTube is really really upset when people subscribe. But I like it when you subscribe. So if you can subscribe, and if you're subscribed, make sure you're still subscribed. That would be fan dabby double does. And if you comment, if you can comment as well, the algorithm, the algorithm go num 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 num. Oh, I like the algorithm. I like this. I like the comments. So all that stuff is good. Fine. Let's look at this comic that I'm trying, that I'm trying to sell to you. The Imperium, a love letter to telefantasy of the 1960s. So firstly, the artwork is done by uh, 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 Dominic Rancho. Uh, fa fantastic guy. So he wasn't the original artist on this. I did a web strip, which is in this book. I'll, I'll show it to you. It's uh, let me go go to those pages. It's uh, towards the back. Uh, yeah, I did this web strip with him called uh, uh, Ice Warriors, which are like one page strips. Uh, they're ki they're kind of like the uh, the uh, Cybermen strips from the nineties or the Dalek strips from the. Uh, six is these are uh, Doctor Who monsters, and writing a one page strip is a real, real discipline, right? It's a real discipline. Uh, because uh, uh, you've got to have a beginning, middle, and end, you've got to have enough of a story to carry it forward, but it, you only get one page, so uh, uh so you have to actually sign something, something happen. So, I was doing, doing this book, book with Dominic, uh, this this strip, I'm uh, not with Dominic, with uh, Stefano Cardoselli, he's, he's the artist on this, uh, and he's he was like, Can, can we, can we, you know. Do an Indiegogo or something like this? I'm like, well, we don't own the Ice Warriors. So no, we don't. This is just a completely unauthorized fan script. So he said, but can you come up with something? So I did. I came up with something for, uh, uh, specifically for him. We did a, uh, a small crowdsourcing campaign to raise the funds to uh, uh, produce it. And then and then he vanished. He did about four or five pages and then vanished, forcing me to find uh, uh, a new artist, Dominic Racho. And I, listen, I, I, I love I love Stefano, is he, but this work is... Fantastic! It's absolutely fantastic. Uh, so the the idea of this, I wanted to do something kind of similar to that, like nineteen sixties vibe. Uh, I'm, uh, yeah, I was reading uh, League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, and you know these are all uh, uh, Alan Moore's uh, literary heroes, and he's a lot cleverer than me, so he has much more clever heroes. My heroes are essentially James Bond, Doctor Who, M and Pill, a monkey in a spacesuit, and the Black Slab from two thousand and one. So I wanted to put all these people together. Uh, uh, into one narrative, and this is basically the pilot story for it. Uh, uh, you know, I have in, in the book you have you have pitches for like a longer stories, which I would do. Uh, um, you know, as a follow up, but this is basically you know the 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 pilot, the pilot, you know, the pilot issue, uh, and really what I wanted to do with it is. Um, Talk about the uh, the strange nature, the strange uh, uh, nature between uh, um, porous nature, I would say, between uh, uh, fiction and reality. Yeah, and so that's basically the idea uh, uh, that we're talking about here. So let me, we'll, 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 I'll, 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 re I'll run you through it. Now, actually. I did the art on this page. I felt here's the thing: when you do your own your own books, you you will add in an extra page here and there to. Uh, um, when you feel it just needs a little bit more oomph and a little bit more uh, room. So again, I love it. Starts British summertime and we get a storm. <laughs> so yeah, this book is, is again, my, about my love of the 1960s uh, uh, telefantasy. And that has to start with the prisoner. That, that, that prisoner introduction is 
pure 1960s, uh, you know, just awesomeness. So, yeah, da 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 And you see the, the characters are actually all uh, sing, sing the tunes to themselves. Bum, 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 dun, bum, bum, bum. <laughs> like, I love, he's just naming the prisoner. He's, he's driving down, dun, 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 da, 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 da. And then, you yeah, know, this Aston Martin comes and crashes into the prisoner's car. Bam! In the Aston Martin, it goes, you hear the guy singing, da, 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 da. Uh, to got, I got this again. I, I'm very self congratulately, but I really love this this line that uh, the prisoner is You little sword, he says, I've got your number. I've got your number, number, which is kind of fun. Uh, and you know, it's uh, uh, this character. So obviously, we don't call him James Bond, but the, the characters are uh, this character is called the the uh, 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 the assassin, right? The assassin. Uh, he's with three three young ladies uh, out for a night of passion, and it fades to black. Now, in the addition if you're so good as to support this book uh, in the uh, edition going to get there's going to be five pages inserted in here it may be 20 pages inserted in uh, uh, instead at this point it depends how well we do it's going to be at least five pages if he hits uh, 20 grand it's going to be 20 pages in there so it's, it's, it's you know as much as you want but uh, we're going to see a lot more of 1960s London this is basically very uh, uh, a very internalized story so after that new interlude um James Bond wakes up the next day, uh, and it, with uh, after a bit bit of a uh, was it a night of passion, and uh, uh, finally one of the young ladies dead. Right, um, and, you know at the same time we have we introduce two other characters. We have uh, the agent, the this uh, a socialite, very much based on Emma Pill, and we have the exile, a uh, a shape shifting uh, uh, a time travel time traveling alien. Uh, uh, who <laughs> again might 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 be based on one of my my boy boyhood heroes and yeah they're and so they're having uh they're they're, they're normal and their normal morning and they're working out uh, the the exile the exile was working out uh, uh, there's some interdimensional uh, uh, invasion that that's about to happen. While, while this is going on, the monkey is very upset about the dead woman, right? The dead woman. And he's dragging around try, try, trying to stash the corpse somewhere. So the uh, uh, essentially, the, the at some point, the, the Anthony inv invades, uh, uh, filling everybody around it with insane amounts of lust, which is, if, if, you're, not, if you're new to my channel, uh, 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 you know, I, I, I do that sort of thing a lot. <laughs> I do that sort of thing a lot. Uh, um, uh, you know, resulting in in, in a, uh, I would say, a, uh, a 1960s genre tr a tryst that uh, 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 one wouldn't easily forget. One would not easily forget. Uh, and meanwhile, meanwhile, the monkey has found a place to stash the body. Uh, in the, in the, now, this is an important plot point, an important plot point uh, uh, in the broom closet. So, But he has to take out all the toilet paper. So for much of the rest of the book, he's carrying around all this, uh, uh, you know, all this toilet paper with, with him for a very important reason. But then, yeah, he 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 comes across uh, the romantic embrace, uh, which is not quite as you would imagine it. As uh, the the invading entity, uh, 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 yeah, starts to 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 uh, 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 ma uh, uh, manifest. Uh, causing you know much consternation and him throwing the toilet roll and this is the important bit this is the important throwing the toilet roll uh, at the invading entity which which catches it and, and really everything is based around this one bit that I wanted to do because we've all done this as kids the invading entity holds up the toilet roll looks through it just as uh, 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 the the agent uh, the Bond character is walking in and you see yeah, it's basically the the, the, uh, the gun bat barrel sequence uh, uh, Bond fires uh, Shatney the alien and they all get sucked out out of reality so that that's essentially uh the the, the idea uh and then uh yeah it goes you know everything breaks down goes fades to white uh and then we, we click uh, we go to uh 1952 jamaica uh, uh, and ian fleming wakes up and he goes oh man that's rather good and he starts tapping away writing a book which is casino royale so essentially the idea is these uh these incredible characters uh, to, uh, after being uh, sucked out of reality, after being sucked out of reality, have to reconstitute themselves uh, uh, as as fiction uh, to create recreate themselves, which is why we have these fictionalized version of them, which which we, we we reference you know on the on the last page of the story. Uh, so you get a lot more in the book than that. You get a lot. Firstly, you get uh, Appendix One making the comic. So you get. Um, the full script, which had like lots and lots of uh, 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 photo reference in it, so I, so Dominic would know what to do. He has no idea where any, where any of this stuff is. Uh, so you know, so you get all that. Also, you get 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 all my my notes on it. And uh, again, Dominic sketches where, where he's trying to work things out. 
Uh, well, as well as a page where he, he had he had real trouble. Uh, yeah, you get see see his his initial sketches. But there's one page where he was like just couldn't couldn't work it out. Where was it? It's uh, is it this one? Yeah, yeah, it's this one. Wait, well, I have to tell you, I think his uh, uh, his design on this page is slightly better than yeah what I insisted upon. Um, so, so, so you 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 get get all that as well. You get uh, let me just scroll. I'm I'm scrolling through it as we speak. You get appendix to the picture doom. So this is uh, 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 not one but two stories that that would would uh, that was the initial pitch for the book, but uh, uh, two uh, like two full uh, 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 plots of uh, like four, uh, was it four issues uh, uh, stories uh that uh that 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 i would do as a sequel right they it, i mean it yeah it would probably change as i do it but you, you you get all that appendix three you get the initial uh 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 ice warrior strips i did with stefano uh which was like the genesis of the book then appendix four uh you get to, you get to see stefano's artwork that that he did for the book uh again love stefano love him to bits I, I'm just. It, I think it worked out well. I think it worked out well that uh, uh, Dominic, uh, <laughs> yeah, Dominic came on board. I just. I, I like. I think it, for this project, it really, really works. So it's on Indiegogo now. Go check it out right now. Now, if you do buy both books, I'm going to do another uh, a, a video. Uh, hopefully, if I have time for uh, uh, for biblical, which is the other book I'm offering. If you get both books, you get a bunch of extras as well. So you get these. Uh, uh, we call it for the male gaze for the male gaze series. Uh, 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 they were four cards because the campaign done well was expanded to six cards. I reckon by the time it's finished, it might be about ten. Uh, based on my twelve-year-old masturbatory fantasies, and I have to tell you, I was a man of taste. I was a man. I still am a man of very good taste. So you know, uh, 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 the, 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 these are very very good. <laughs> very good. So we have uh, keeping the British men end up. That's a James Bond one, which. Uh, 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 was the last line. My favourite James Bond movie, The Spy You Love Me. Uh, we have Party Like It's 1999, but Sandra Brains, uh, uh, the uh, computer scientist from Moonbase Alpha, uh, looking resplendent in uh, uh, her alpha underwear. And by the way, I think he really nails the background. We have... Uh, uh, Judge Anderson, don't even think it's Citizen. Uh, fantastic job he's done with this. And my favourite one, my favourite one is No Hanky Panky in the TARDIS. It's, uh, 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 again, that's actually a reasonably screen accurate uh, 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 a costume. <laughs> that, that, that companion wore. No wonder. Uh, she's played a big part in my psyche ever since. Uh, we have... Uh, uh, oh, this was the chase card we added on. Uh, I'm sensing strong emotions, Captain. You are indeed. Uh, you're sensing them, uh, uh, you know, from me. You're sensing strong emotions, uh, certainly from me. And this is the latest one that we added in, uh, just because, you know, the, 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 the chat and the, in, in, uh, on the live stream is fantastic. And I thought, you know, you guys need to be rewarded. Uh, so I'm rewarding you uh, with, I think, really, this is something. I mean, look at, look at Jabba's face. Look at Jabba's face. Who can argue with Jabba here? I think there's something, this is something that everybody's really thought of. And I think, oh man, Dominic, Dominic just really nails this. Uh, I, I, you know, Carrie Fisher uh, uh, never looks so wonderful. Never looks so wonderful. Uh, so then we also have a bunch of posters we're adding on. We got uh, uh, Bohemian in Time and Space. Uh, well, if once the campaign hits eight, hits eight, eight grand, I think we're probably going to. Everybody gets this for free. It's a big poster. It's an A2 poster. We have the eyes have it. Uh, uh, again, if we hit 12 grand, everybody gets this one. And then this this latest one we, we, we just added in uh, is called Reverse the Polarity of the Neutron Flow. Reverse the Polarity of the Neutron Flow. Um, yeah, so that that's basically it. But I wanted you to actually understand, what is this book I'm plugging? Yeah, what is the thing? I plug them on, you know, on all my videos. Uh, I just think it's good. I think it's something that's actually worth your time and money i don't really do i really genuinely do i wouldn't like like be be uh uh be 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 uh be trying to sell it to you if i didn't so yeah i think i'm gonna add in a tier where you where you can uh where you can get just the cards you can get the cards and the posters without without having to buy the books that's what people, a lot of people ask me to uh and you know what listen listen you are you are the customers i am here i am here to merely obey uh my name is Cena Beck and the rabble from another planet please like share subscribe comment go check out indigo uh, I'm, I am uh, just insanely proud of it. And have yourselves a fantastic, a fantabulous, a wonderful, have yourself a fantastic day. Yeah.